for the most accurate forecast in the Ozarks. Jamie, there are perfect storm scenarios and there are perfect non-storm scenarios. <laughs> I think it would be swell. Swell, I say. If we can get through the next two nights without rain, putting a damper on fireworks celebrations, and then get the rain that we desperately needed. Is that possible? I think you got a deal. Is that possible? No, I, I, I think you got a deal. That'd be because, swell. Yeah, it would be swell, right? Uh, yeah, it looks like we are going to have a chance for some rain on the 4th, but that really doesn't mean that it carries over into that evening. So I think for fireworks displays, whether it be tonight or tomorrow night, we're actually looking uh, like we're going to be in pretty good shape. Outside right now, we've got a high overcast. I want to show you this because temperatures, while hot, 91, it is a dry heat. Dew points are in the low 60s. It is not very humid out there compared to where we could be for early July. The reason for the high overcast, these are basically the storm tops of storms off to the southwest, a complex of rain and thunderstorms moving across Oklahoma. So we're catching some of that here over southwest Missouri, and northwest Arkansas, more scattered storms to the south across southern Arkansas and Mississippi. This is all in conjunction with a front, the same front that went through our area yesterday morning. Well, it's stalled and now it's going to start lifting back to the north as a warm front. What it's going to do is it's going to bring humidity back into the area, but tonight it looks like it'll stay pretty comfortable out there. But tomorrow it brings humidity back into the area and with that, we're going to find a chance for showers and thunderstorms returning to the area as well. Now, I think these are going to be the types of storms that pop up in the heat of the afternoon and then they fade away quickly as we start to approach sunset. Uh, so looking at our forecast overnight tonight, uh, expecting skies to be mostly clear. Uh, bright moonshine, by the way, full moon tonight, bu uh, full buck moon for July. Uh, beautiful summer night across the area and then tomorrow as we're progressing through the morning hours, I think showers and thunderstorms are going to pop up as temperatures climb through the upper 80s and into the low 90s. And then as we work through the afternoon, we're going to have uh, at least widely scattered showers and thunderstorms. Now notice by 5 o'clock, most of this activity has either moved out or it's faded away. And I think that trend holds into Tuesday evening. So the 4th of July by no means will be a washout. And I think for evening plans, we're looking good. Uh, temperatures tonight drop off into the upper 60s. Looks like about 69 in Springfield with afternoon highs tomorrow. Very similar to today. It looks like low 90s generally, but I think areas that stay dry and stay sunnier will have a shot of getting into the mid 90s. Places like Lake Ozark, 94, 94 in Stockton. Winds, they'll be out of the west southwest about 5 to 15 miles per hour. Again, tomorrow evening, uh, looks like at 9 o'clock as it's getting good and dark out there, uh, or at least darker by 9 o'clock. About 80 degrees. Again, most areas dry. It will be humid. Now back to work weather also looks hot and humid. And I think as we get back to work on Wednesday, there is going to be a better chance for scattered storms at times during the day into the overnight, especially I think maybe afternoon into the overnight. And it looks like uh, given the setup, a few of those storms could become strong to severe with some hail or locally strong winds. And the overall setup through the rest of the week and through this upcoming weekend is an active one. We've got a jet stream, which is going to be kind of dipping a little bit here into the middle of the country, and it's going to keep a frontal zone in our area over the next week. And it looks like with an active storm track, we're going to have uh, ample opportunity at some wet weather, also cooler afternoon highs later this week. The, the concern that I have, though, with this setup also is risk of localized flooding because of too much rain in a short period of time and maybe even some uh, severe storms. And I think hail and wind would be the concerns with that activity. Now, I mentioned the cooler weather after highs in the low 90s through Wednesday. We're talking low to mid 80s for Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It does get hotter later in the weekend into early next week with highs back up around 90 degrees. Steve. All right, Jamie, talk to you coming up at six. The reward.